The Viper is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The world heavyweight champion, the Viper. As our good friend JBL often says, if you were to build a superstar from the ground up, it would look like Randy Orton. One of the most vindictive, one of the most vengeful, and one of the most dangerous superstars you will ever see. That's why I love everything about this guy, Saxton. Such an impressive array of in-ring skills possessed by the Viper. All Randy Orton needs is one RKO to end your evening. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's going to show us tonight that he's much more than that. Yeah, Randy Orton is an SOB. The big, strong boy. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bate. Let's go. Bate made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the US. Yeah, do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. Well, this man will need some sort of answer from Randy Orton's quick strike attacks, or else this match will not last long. Randy Orton might just be one of the most enduring superstars in the history of WWE. But over his long and decorated career, he's never stopped evolving. He's still finding ways to surprise us. I think the changes in Randy's attitude have been the most surprising. Once a stone-faced lethal predator, now he's making friends inside the ring, taking time to enjoy his life as a WWE superstar and kick back a little. I have to say, it's been nice to see Randy open up a little, but make no mistake, he's as lethal as ever between the ropes. And he's face to face with one of the top superstars to come out of the UK, Tyler Bate. Bate appreciates and respects the historic British superstars who came before him, but he's doing things his way. That's what a true student of the mat does. They build upon the foundation that was laid before them. Tyler Bate in a state of distress. The attacks will not relent from the Viper. Oh, stop right to the hand. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Left by the turnbuckles. That holds back Bates' attack. Uh-oh. He switches it back around. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Strong kick. Yeah. My goodness. Randy Orton has so many different ways to attack and punish his opponents, but Corey, what do you think will be Orton's greatest strength tonight? Oh, it's got to be Orton's ability to be three, four steps ahead of any opponent. Orton's as cerebral and methodical as they come, and that mindset is the key to victory in this one. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Ceaseless punishment from the Viper. And see, that's Orton being three or four steps ahead. The cerebral approach working wonders. He must have had that scouted. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh. 
Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Scoop slam, making it look easy. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Tyler Bate in a state of distress. Bate has to find an opening and respond. Down to Odin. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Ah, oh, what a victory. What a win. And the loser of this match offering a handshake. How about that? The winner oh. has uh, no interest. I beat oh. you. Get out of my ring. It's not about feelings. It's about victory. It's about winning and staying on top at all costs. Straighten up, gentlemen. Here comes Ludwig Kaiser. The right-hand man of the ring general. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing Imperium from Hamburg, oh God, Germany, oh. weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Kaiser. Tonight, I predict a showcase of Ludwig Kaiser's skills oh my gosh that was horribly bad Corey you better not let Kaiser hear you actually Saxton Kaiser has been complimentary of this impression I think it's great too thank you Michael Cole you are truly the commentary general I can't take this anymore Now, here's someone whose only interest is beating people into oblivion. And don't expect to see any mercy or remorse because Mark Coffey has zero. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 238 pounds, Mark Coffey. It shouldn't be a surprise that Mark Coffey's out here smashing people. He trained with Finn Balor before going to Japan and then made an impact in NXT. And Coffey has already experienced success in tag and singles competition. He held the NXT UK tag titles for 497 days, won the NXT UK Heritage Cup, and has also been an NXT tag team champion. Most opponents are not prepared for the fury that comes when Mark Coffey competes. 
Before arriving at WWE, Ludwig Kaiser was trained in the art of wrestling by his father, who was a legend in Europe. Impressive pedigree, but some think Ludwig is a little too smug about his self-perceived superiority. They're just jealous. There's no question that Kaiser is a true world-class athlete, poised to achieve greatness. And he's ready to use all he's learned to punish anyone foolish enough to think otherwise. Certainly does seem like Ludwig looks at his competition as an annoyance to be crushed under his boot. But Mark Coffey is all business, and his business tends to involve a swift fist to the head. There's no safe quarter when you're in the ring with this Scotsman. When you get into the ring against Coffey, you better be ready for a fight, because he always is. I expect a cunning strategist like Ludwig Kaiser to succeed in this match by picking his moments carefully. He's not one to waste energy or go for big desperation moves. He'll bide his time and then strike with precision. Sounds like you approve of Ludwig's usual approach, and it could work for him here in this match. Uh-oh. Oh, what a counter. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. Down to opponent, and a double axe handle smash. Really just laying it in. He's struggling a bit here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Slice bread! What a counter! Power slam! You know, I noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Look at that counter from Ludwig! Done. And he goes into the ring. Look. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Crossbody. And that was obviously not a part of Mark's strategy. Expert training helped Kaiser land that attack. Oh, what impact. Big forearm. Placing them into the corner. Pow! Crushed in the corner with a second clothesline. Ooh, sharp elbow. Here we go. It's popping off. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Clothesline. What impact. Mark Coffey getting ready. Taking flight. Rough landing. Oh! And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Insiguri on the air. He's going for the pin. This could be it. What a win. What a hard-fought battle we just experienced. I'm not sure how well this superstar is going to take the loss. Or maybe not too bad at all. That's what you love to see. Great sportsmanship after a spectacular match.
Guys, shut up. I got this. It's fine. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Butch, and a combined weight of 520 pounds. The County Warrior, Sheamus, and Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes. Ridge Holland, Sheamus, Butch, three men bonded by their love for fighting. Yeah, you could say that again, Cole. These three will fight anyone in the locker room, anyone in the street. Heck, they'll fight each other if they have to. Hey, no matter who fights who, there's one guarantee. It'll be fun to watch. The Brawling Brutes are about to show us all how they earned that name. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. At a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro, the LWO. There is a whole lot of fight in this team, and they won't ever let anyone forget that. For the LWO to give anything less than their best is not an option. That's not how you represent. W.O. in action here tonight, a tight-knit crew. This team is honestly more like a family. Each individual success is considered a team success and vice versa. Yeah, there's a lot of pride among the members of the L.W.O. Just by virtue of being part of this collective, it's really refreshing to see. And as we'll no doubt see tonight, that pride is what drives them. And the brawling brutes are absolutely here looking for a fight. Because as you would say, Cole, it's fight night. They're ready to bruise and they're ready to batter. They're ready for a brawl. That is the Brutes' way, and they love it. Oh. Boom! A forearm smack! Springboard corkscrew crossbody! Gets the shoulder up at one. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Ah, look at this. Jarring impact. That catch is wild looking. Took him out to me. MCL and ACL could have major damage. Possibly the fibula. Excellent strategy there. Arm drag takedown. And Holland found himself on the wrong end of the beating. Big boot to the guts. Oh, side coming. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Face first. He's got the answer for that one. Watch out. Running in the cover. And he breaks the count quickly. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Ridge prevents that from connecting. Oh, what a kick. And the DDT. Gets out of there in a hurry. There's a tag. Yes, tag. Boom. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Connecting on the DDT. And shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up after one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Targeting the arm. Oh, I heard 
the snap. Inflicting oh. more damage to the leg. Oh. Enough already. Ridge gets the better there. And Sheamus is countered. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Shoulder tackle. What a punch. Kick to the gut. And that will bring some frustration to Cruz. Incredible aggression from Holland. Just ruthless. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Wearing down the knee and an elbow. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He takes control. Ah, big height on that moonsault. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. He's been placed in the corner now. Ridge gets the better there. Oh. Oh. Tags him in. Fails to connect on the springboard. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Oof. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. That catch is wild looking. Boom, right to the body. Solely focused on... Oof! Suplex, oh. here it comes! Nicely done. And that can put Joaquin Wilde in his place. You can see that love of the fight in the face. Take off! Getting excited. What's he going to do? With a moonsault. And the cover for the win. This is it. Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here are your winners. Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro. The A bitter defeat for the Brawling Brutes tonight. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon.
If I could be so bold as to make a prediction, someone's gonna get smashed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. A collegiate wrestling All-American certified powerhouse now as a pro. This man's a machine. Well, ever since joining WWE, he has started dominating and never looked back. This guy is the future. One half of the Creed Brothers. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Julius Creed! Championships and accolades as a collegiate wrestler and has continued that success in WWE. You're right, Corey. Julius Creed won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and the NXT Tag Titles alongside his brother. If you're looking for some good old-fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. And accompanied by Jinder Mahal at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahal and Sangha Indus Share. My sources tell me that the entire tag team division is watching this one backstage. That's how important this match is. There's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality of Indus Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? As for their opponents, we know how athletically gifted the Creeds are. How their in-ring acumen and technical skills are amazing. Julius and Brutus can also throw hands in a brawl and take everyone out. Oh, the Creeds are quite comfortable using their digits. Many believe that when we see Julius and Brutus compete, we're seeing the future of tag team wrestling, and I can't dispute that. Setting up. All the way out, Plex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this raw power. Got red suplex. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Into the corner now. And he's able to reverse. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. Good golly, Miss Molly. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Tag 
leg with a punch. His shoulders are down. Stops the ref count before two. Could be in search of a second win now. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Ooh. Shoulder block over and over in the corner. Complete dominance. Nice counter from Sanga. And another counter. There's the tag. Oh, the knee is being torn apart now. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. Is it enough? He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Taking a moment to get pumped. Tag made, tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk slam. Dropping the elbow. Terrible position for Creed. The cover. He kicks out at two. Somehow, someway, he is still in this. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. He's heading up top. Thinking big. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. Lift off, diving shoulder tackle. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Hoisting their opponent up. Look out. Snake eyes. And Creed can't stop any offense coming this way. Yes, Sonny improving. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Fights out at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, ouch. That's one way. Into the cover. Uh, oh. Come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Close line. So effective. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Rolling into a monkey flip. And he sends him into the corner. Here's the tag. Looks like some tandem offense on the horizon. Gut wrenching. Oh, oh. Splash. Nice. This match may be nearing its limit. Not what you want to see by any means. Ah, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here are your winners. Brutus and Julius. The Team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.
Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. There are only two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. has just arrived. And his opponent, representing the Headbangers from Camden, New Jersey, weighing in at 245 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Thrasher! Thrasher loves turning his opponent's world upside down. He is ready to run roughshod through any mosh pit and will stop competitors with a smile. This is a man who has survived the ups and downs of sports entertainment, and Thrasher's here to wreck shop. Yeah, it doesn't take it easy on anyone. Thrasher truly represents the Attitude Era to its fullest. And all set for action here tonight, we've got Headbanger Thrasher. It's not often we see him in singles action, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous in the ring. Thrasher is a man who just loves to fight, loves the physicality in the ring. That's something you cannot underestimate. Yeah, Byron, there's certainly no lack of aggression with him in the ring. Thrasher is a true brawler through and through. And opposite him would be Karrion Cross. I gotta ask, what's this whole TikTok deal he's got going on? You would ask me that. Basically, Cross believes it's a matter of when, not if he reaches the mountaintop. Call it confidence, call it a higher power, I'm not exactly sure, but the way he competes, I'm certainly not inclined to disagree. DDT! And a headbutt of questionable legality. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Suplex of their own. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. To the back of the neck. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. So much torque on the knee and ankle. And that might shake Thrasher's focus. Cross is looking to right the wrongs of his first run in WWE. How does he go about resetting his story, so to speak? Pretend it never happened. Cross has never lacked for confidence. These two going straight for a strike, it seems. 
slugging away with everything they've got. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned. Pretty much in total control of this one with a big right hand, but look who's here causing a distraction. Hey, get down. That distraction could make all the difference. That's all it took. You can't afford to lose focus mid-match. Oof, ruthless striking. Let's go, let's go. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper-extend your elbow. Wait for it. Boom! Makes the cover. What? Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Vicious right forearm. Oh, what a clubbing blow. <laughs> Thrasher wasting no motion on the counter. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. He decides. Jeez. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. That's a sadistic individual. You can sever an artery or suffer nerve damage after something like that. Or at least need a tetanus shot. taking their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Boom! The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Sky high. You gotta be kidding me. Just crashing down with high impact. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. WWE Universe. An interesting rivalry brewing between these competitors as of late. It has become a true game of one-upsmanship with neither side backing down. A part of me thinks things will definitely get... And there's the cover! He's able to beat a two-count. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Here we go! Nasty hit on the face. They're slamming their face down. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Thrasher showing no restraint. Cross on the wrong side. Carrying Cross. The final trigger. Victory nearly in hand for Cross. Two count. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. From the top! Oh, the foot drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Oh, my goodness. Stop it to stop it. Play and pass him. Shoulders down! Breaks the count. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. All right, pump handle. Pump handle. This is what you call high risk. Taking flight. Oh, my! Ooh. And Cross sustaining more damage there. Carry Cross really needs to avoid any more punishment. Kick gets caught. These two having an answer for everything. the leg. 
Cross is in serious danger. This one is going as long as there's breath in their lungs. Makes the cover! There it is. Thrasher is your winner. Here is your winner, Thrasher! Celebrate this win. You deserve it for focusing up and keeping your eye on the ball. Props to them for not letting the distractions get to them, to tuning out the noise and getting the job done. If anything, the distraction worked as the perfect motivation to get... We are living in the almighty era. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the old Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique that's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. Mello don't miss, and Mello is and his opponent. Him. First from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Look, I have to admit, I hold Mello in very high regard. His impressive ascension has been nothing short of meteoric. Multiple title wins, main event matches. This young man has quickly done it all. With no signs of slowing down anytime soon, Hayes has ambition, talent, and motivation to spare. Hayes is ready for action to begin. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker ready to dominate. And from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun. Breaker! 
Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career. Technique, drive, on paper, all the attributes of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. Here comes the lone wolf. this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. His past destroyed, Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. four-way has begun. The first of these four superstars to get a pinfall or submission will be the winner. Well, we can already tell no one in this match is going to make it easy for anyone else. Popped right in the face. Reversal on Lashley. Script on him there. Take down. <laughs> Helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. The disrespect can be tasted in the mouth. In a fatal four-way, danger basically surrounds you at all times. How exactly does a superstar cope with that, Corey? By making sure they're not an easy target in the ring. Don't stand still and just wait for harm to come your way. Stay light on your feet. Keep moving. And pick your spots to attack carefully. Hey, My breaker turns the tables. Just one step ahead. Sent into the corner. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Lashley wasn't wrecking anything in that moment. Yeah, as Hayes was giving him a bitter taste of his impressive offense. Wow! That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Job. Ugh, what a shot. Saw that one coming. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uncorked a big punch. Oh, did you hear that? Bring across the way. I've seen Saxon. 
been thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. And that has to knock all the wind out of you. Corbin gets stymied. That can dislocate your shoulder. And he goes for the pin. He forces a break before the count of two. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Bam! Establishing complete control. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Look at this going. And will this be it? No, kick out for Corbin. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Uh oh, watch out. Double Russian leg sweep. In a match like this, sometimes the smartest strategy is to find an ally. It can also be the most dangerous if you don't watch your back. Inverted DDT cast. Over and over, lefts and rights, elbows on the mark. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Big boat. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. To the arm, terrible. From behind, back suplex. He is just reeling from that offense. And the fatal four-way stipulation starting to show its effects here. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. What a shot, straight brutality coming right at you. I felt the vibe. He thinks he has it. the count. That was a long two. Count there. He fends off the attack. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? What in the world? That's a hammer. You can't just throw a hammer. Get him into the corner. Oh, elbow cut him right on the bridge of the nose. Couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Caught square by the haymaker. Watch out! And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough! Corbin's got him right where he wants him. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Power slam. Is there any air left in Hayes? No, he beats the count. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. And Breaker has to be wondering just what it's going to take to end this. How far does he have to go? He has just completely lost his wind. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. It's unbelievable that these athletes are in this match in any capacity. But here we are. He deflects it right back. Oh! Ah, uh, took off the eye. The move has taken out there by the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, you first. No! Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. And Corbin looking overwhelmed there. Yeah, this is no time for Lashley to go soft. We could be in the home stretch here. Stiff elbow will break that up. Breaker wants his opponent to know they're in for it. Spinebuster! Big boot! And Corbin is still as 
destructive as ever at this point. Here's where Braun's ability to endure will be challenged. The energy in here is palpable. Something truly special is unfolding before our eyes. Carmella Hayes trying to wrap things up. Shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle. Oh, look at the, the pump handle. Oh, oh, what distance. Back straight into the post on the outside. Unloads with the boot. And Lashley saw it was coming. On the mark. What's coming next? Back suplex. Very nice. Implanted by the DDT. Uh oh. Carmelo dodges that attack. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Uh-oh. Slips out of the way. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Punch right in the head. What's the almighty about to produce? Oh, my. Minor. Elevated. I see a cut, too, on Corbin after that. He saw that one coming. Sitching in the hurt lock. He's not going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Paul Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Oh, face first off the post. The Almighty showing no fear, no intimidation. Oh my God, a clothesline! Thrown back in under the ropes. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, deadlift. Look at this power. Super! Oh, no way. Astounding power. The end of days. Wow, that one busted Braun up. Corbin's wrapped this one up. And now Lashley. That didn't go Lashley's way. No way. Astounding power. End of days. That one has to end this. Oh, 
performance to win this fatal four-way match all four of these men were prepared for a hard-fought match and that is exactly what they delivered The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And his opponent from Sheryl's for North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Get ready to go the distance. Sammy is always ready for the big fight. The monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman, is one of the most feared competitors in all of WWE. And for good reason, Michael. It's not just Braun's tremendous size, but his unbridled force. When he gets going, he's an absolute juggernaut. Braun's certainly not a man you want to stand in the path of. And standing across the ring from him is an incredible... Okay, Zane, take down. The coach he clutch. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Oh, man, watch this. Freakish power. And there was some force on that move. There he goes, right into the corner. Hoping to end it early. And bypasses the pinfall. Not 
enough to get past the one count yet. It may sound too simple, but I'm just going to say it. All Braun has to do to win this thing is let loose his full, unbridled power. No one can stand up to the force that is... Oh! Suicide dive! Whatever it takes to win. Pinpoint precision right on target. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stomp someone like that. Right in the face. My God. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Sammy Zayn, takedown. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. And set right into the corner. He's got him down. Is this it? And a kick out. The end was in sight. Right on point. A continuous attack on Strowman. Now you don't often have your way with Brock. Zane with a takedown. Oh. The coaching clutch. No. What a reversal. Incredible. He's getting fired up now. Really feeding off this crowd. Ooh, my oh. knee left. Snapmare. Caught up an elbow. Oh, uh, Braun stopped that in its tracks. He manages to escape it. He saw it coming. Take Sammy Zayn with a bang. Boom. That could be Strowman's demise. Shoulders down. But I know now just how indestructible he truly is. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. Just like that, Sammy gets stopped. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, as the powerhouse style of Strowman being shown off there. A Strowman press. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Down with a suplex. Oh my God! Knee strike. Strowman is taking charge. Just as I predicted. Simple waistline and counter to an undrag. And that might be the start of the momentum swing that Sammy needed. But Zayn has to push now while the window's open. Beautiful athleticism. Oh my god. This is just brute power. German! Just pure dominance. Oh, foot just stomping down. He's looking a little weary now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Strowman trying to put his opponent away. The triangle jump submission. He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He may have to tap out. On it... oh, the elevated triangle. And that is a great way to get out of it. Couple body shots, all it took. Oh. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Unbelievable athleticism. Boom! Oh. Knee, knee, back of neck. Boom! Oh. That hit connects from Sami Zayn.
Sami Zayn believed and he earned the victory. And Sami Zayn proving once again that he is not to be underestimated no matter the situation. You just cannot overcome a competitor with the momentum of Sami Those two titles adding a little swagger to his walk. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And the When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey, keeping his head on a swivel. You know he's going to be fighting for it all in this match. Yeah, he's made it clear he is dead set on remaining on top of the mountain with those two titles. The Fireflies are out, and Bray Wyatt is here.
It's really hard to know what to make of Wyatt. There's a darkness at work here. A darkness that has swallowed Bray Wyatt whole. Is he prepared for an opponent with the family pedigree and natural talent of Cody Rhodes? That's a great question, and luckily for us, we won't have to wait long to get the answer. Don't let the cozy sweater and big smile fool you. There's a darkness bubbling just beneath the surface of Bray Wyatt. It's what... Picking the leg. Oh, we got to see it. Down. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. to hold him down. And Cody Rhodes reverses. The thing about Bray Wyatt is he can hit you as hard physically inside the ring as he can mentally outside the ring. And with his explosive style of offense, you probably won't even know what just hit you. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And Cody didn't see that coming. Close line. Whoa, quickly, the cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. I think this match still has a ways to go. <laughs> Reversal! What a counter! Planning on what to do next. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. He turns it around. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. This is right for him. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Rolling into a monkey flip. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Can't quite get him there. Great strength being shown here. Oh, right to the throat. Can he score the pin? He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Take it down with the gold buster. He's looking a little off balance. Bray proving too much to handle with that. Big back body drop. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. End of a roundhouse kick. Oof, back elbow puts a stop to things. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to end. Rose looking to end this. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Cover! There's two! Oh, shoulder up before three. And chills have to be running down the spine of Wyatt's opposition right now. How do you from the top? Crash landing. Back suplex, no! Driven down. Does he have him here? Kicks out. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Big forearm. Oh, big punch. Ouch. Arm ringer. 
Right hand will counter. Has him up for the power slam from behind into an inverted DDT. Just punched him right in the middle. Puts a stop to that. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Cody looking for the win. Crossroads. Is it enough to overcome Bray? Makes the cover. And Cody Rhodes picks up the W. Here is your winner. The Big time victory for Cody Rhodes. No telling the effect this will have on Wyatt's mind. Perhaps further down its already twisted path. Is that even possible? Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following contest. It looks like we might not be waiting for the fall. bell. This rivalry Making is just that intense, Cole. You can't put a stopper on aggression like that. Pennsylvania. Whoa, jump starting the action. That is some unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, give me a break, Saxton. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push the referee so far, Corey. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Oh, man, check out this power. Oh, man. Gorilla press slam. This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges, so much could go wrong very quickly. Big E is, of course, known for his power game and that explosive offense. Corey, I imagine that Big E is not the type of superstar you want to try to match in the power game. You can try, Cole, but don't be surprised if you fail. Your best bet is really to keep from working Big E's style, from playing his game. Because if Big E controls the pace, then he'll have the match in hand. He reverses it. And gets tossed back into the mat. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Oh, what a knee strike. Gulak with a resolve in his eyes now. No thanks to the WWE Universe. Smash! Ooh! That hurt. Able to reverse that one! Some good hits. Gulak showed off some of his impressive skill set with that attack. Insulting. But this could also light a fire under you, make you fight even harder. And he sends him into the corner. 
Nice counter from Big E. Launched with a suplex. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, huge splash. This is a frightening sight for Big E's Ooh. opponent. Oh, and that big splash. Is it enough? The cover. Two. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner, Big E. Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. Yeah, and this is quickly going to turn into a victory parade. I'll give it to Big E. He deserved this one.